everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, so I'm back at uni now, I haven't posted in a little while. Um, again, sorry. I've just been really really busy trying to sort housey stuff out and assignments. So today we are going diving and I'm really excited because we're diving at Porth Keris. I've never dived at Porth Keris before and apparently there is lots to see. Those people who were diving last week saw lots of nudibranchs and they're like these little tiny like almost like a sea slug is the best way to kind of like describe them but they're like really cool colours um, and they're kind of cute. And I've never seen one before in real life so I would really love to see one. So this is the second year diving side of it all. So I'm actually using a big DSLR with two strobes and I'm just so excited to get back in the water. Um, that's why I look a bit like a mess because there's not really any point like actually trying to make an effort just to go to a dive site and get in a, a wetsuit and then <laughs> go diving. I'm so looking forward to going in the water. It's going to be freezing now. It's going to be so cold. So I really do hope that it's not too cold. Um, so this morning I had a COVID test. I've still not had the results back, but hopefully by the time we get there, I should be all fine. I did actually do a COVID test yesterday, but I never got the results back. So <laughs> not too sure what went on there. <laughs> I also trapped my finger in the door this morning. Um, I won't show you it because it's a bit gross. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just super excited. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Rather than taking a bag, I'm taking a box of my dive stuff. Excuse my bed, I've not actually properly made it yet. We've got my towel dress thing. Don't really know what you call that. Got my boots, gloves, mask and snorkel. I actually need to take my snorkel off that. Um, and fins. And of course I'm taking my GoPro with me. So yeah, so I'm going to take a bottle of water with me and I've got a smoothie for breakfast. I'm also going to take some cereal bars um, to keep me slacking but I'm not going to take any lunch with me because I can just eat when I get back. I'm pretty sure there's a cafe there so nothing to stress about really. Sorted. Oh this is so grotty. I should probably, I'm going to rinse this in the, in the sink actually. Mm. <laughs> it smells like toothpaste still <laughs> anyways let's get going I guess so I've I've just arrived and that was such a drive like typical Cornish roads with typical Cornish weather like it's done everything today apart from snowed <laughs> quite windy actually it's a cold wind today it's not really windy that it's like really choppy sea but it's a little bit cold I should have brought a coat with me I didn't really think about it but fingers crossed today is a good dive I'm really really looking forward to it if you want a guest star I have such a YouTube presence today <laughs> Never twist this thing off. Neither. No. I always feel so I'm bad. like, which way does it go? <laughs> Half your video is just spent like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it easy to get in and out of the water? Um, you, have you have to, to go, go down, down the slope with a rope before you kill. And then, like, when it's wet, you're like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> is it as bad as silver steps? No, I think it's, it's, it's easier to get in and out of actually. It's the slope is the last slope. You may fall, you may die, but it's better than silver steps. <laughs> to dive. I'm going to leave this camera here and then I'm going to move on to my GoPro. I did it on our last dive that we had for first year and I accidentally deleted every single bit of footage I got and I got like close-ups of starfish and everything.
So I'm just sat in the sun at the moment trying to warm up because it was so cold in the sea. We were in there for about 40 minutes, I want to say. I made myself a veggie burger. I'm trying to eat like less meat and so far so good. I'm going to move that way a little bit because <laughs> the sun is very bright. The dive was so good. There was like these massive spider crabs, um, saw starfish, I saw like a uh, I saw spiny starfish and then there was another starfish. I wouldn't be able to tell you what it was. Never seen one before. Um, it was like purple. We saw like big fish, like this big. I've no idea what they were either. I'm really bad at identifying stuff. Um, I saw urchins and I saw anemones. I think Gina said it was like a candy stripe and it was like a white one and it had like frilly bits around the edge and like stripes on it. The dive was really really good and I'm really hoping that the photos come out all right. Hopefully the afternoon divers will be back within like the next hour and then I can go to campus and rinse off the camera and then hopefully get my footage back as well. And it's just it's just really nice to actually kind of be back and have a reason to kind of like be here. Mm. Oh my god this is so good, never had one of these before. Okay, so it is Friday morning and I've had my COVID test, I've got up for the day and I'm going to be doing another dive, I'm all good, I'm all negative to COVID, had a negative test, so that's, that's good. Yeah, I forgot that I never actually spoke about some of my photos the other day and I was dead impressed with the macro shots that I got from my first dive. It wasn't a needy rank, it was a flatworm, it was a candy stripe flatworm. Um, so I'm still yet to find a nude prank. So fingers crossed we'll find one today. But if not, I'm still pretty happy with my uh, little candy stripe flatworm. So yeah, I've got my box packed up, ready to go. I've got my shake, I had cereal this morning. Um, so I'm gonna have this in the car or when I get there. So I've got all my kits up. <laughs> Same camera as I dived with the other day. Got my GoPro on there. But it's beautiful weather. It's so, so lush. Like it was really windy last time, but now the sun's out and it's so calm. Gosh, I'm so excited. Beautiful. This is the attractive part of it all. <laughs> Amy! Can you help me please? <laughs> I can't get it off! 
I think it's just like, you know, when it gets caught. I tried to wave to him. <laughs> if you pull that bit there. Ready? Wait, put, put your arms straight. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> So I was so happy with Friday's dive. Here are some of my pictures that I got and I also just thought I would mention while I'm talking about photos that all of these are raw, unedited photos. I think I did lighten a couple of them, but not that many. The great thing about doing dive photography is you can tell if you've got a good photo because when you're under the water, you can see all the colors like on the camera. These are all done on macro lens on the 700Ds. Diving has definitely encouraged me to get to know a Nikon camera a bit better as if you've watched my videos before you know I am a Canon user, I am very Canon. Um, so using a Nikon is quite difficult and sometimes I don't really know what I'm doing but when it's actually in the housing I feel like when you know what all the buttons are it's like really easy and honestly diving at Porth Keris is so nice. On Friday, they were like, it's like the best conditions, they've seen it in a long time. And on Monday, it's supposed to be really good as well. So I'm gonna leave this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do another dive video because next week I'm probably gonna be diving three times. So I'm gonna make another video for that. I really hope you enjoy this video. And yeah, make sure you give it a like. While you're at it, you might as well subscribe if you feel like it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video to give a little bit of insight into the diving. And, and this part of the course is like the real reason why I wanted to be on MNHP at Falmouth University. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, have a good week.